Hi, everyone. Welcome to join today's webinar. My name is Art, DFI product manager. Today's topic uh, is AI vision. So we will invite Ivan and Alan come from AOpen Smart Vision to share the application of AI vision. Uh, during the presentation, if you got any question, please feel free to leave your message in the chat box. And we will reply you in the Q&A session. So please welcome Ivan and Alan. Thank you, Mr. Art. Uh, welcome to everyone. And I, first of all, I would like to thank you, the DFI Art, to invite Open to join this webinar. So I mean, my name is Ivan, and also we have uh, the Alan. We'll talk about the more uh, very popular ag agricultural uh, uh, AI solutions and data. So let's go on with our first part. Today we are going to talk about the facial recognition in the marking applications. So for our solution, we have a very uh, popular to using the AI solution facial recognition to work on the enterprise level, uh, such as the access control, uh, etc. So our product is that the face info. So why need to face info? So let's wait that we are to share the presentation on your screen. Okay, let's capture our previous the why need the face info. So in the face info, we have inventing the, the biometric technology. So in the recently using the transitional car is very unsecure because somebody can use your car to attend to get in the other the security room or any other rest restricted area. So we wanted to use this biometric to enhance your security, such as using the facial recognition or fingerprint or any others to raise your securities. Not only the one biometric, so we also the provide the multiple biometric for example, we have a facial recognition plus the body temperature also have the fingerprint. So let the control your, such as your computer room or financial room, even your inventory room to make sure that one guy have a permission to go into in your areas. For our vertical market, you can see on the screen, we focus on the enterprise level such as we can building our uh, facial recognition to access control to make sure the employee or your visitor can get a permission to go into your building. We also can verify the blacklist. Like for example, you have one guy always go into the building to do some big things. So we can recognize him and we can uh, send to the message to your bodyguard or security guard to do uh, something preventive. We also have a school solutions, so we can use our facial recognition to identify the students, teachers, or also the VIP, or also the parents in the SERAS. So we can use this solution to make sure your kid, your student, take take care of. Also communicate uh, your communities, so allowing to management your visitors to make sure they can go to the right place and right flow. And also we have uh, the very uh, useful for the retail, so we can provide your demography solutions, also provide the gender age, the cinnamon, and also you can use our solution to use, uh, to collect the, your members of VIP and also can uh, use the API to connect your post, for, for example. And in this section, I would like to share about our Facebook Info successful story to you. In the first case, is our entire Veteran General Hospital using our 
facial recognition, face info pro series. What is the pro series? Our pro series is using an IP camera to identify the person and you without stopping. So for example, we can set up the two camera, one it get one is going, one is go out, and then we can identify this patient when they leaving or they can go in. And for this uh, patient area, we are focused on the person who already forgot how can go back their house, their room or their area, like a dementia patients. So in using our solution, we can identify when they go to somewhere. If they go to out of that uh, hospital with two hours or more than two hours, our system will notify their, our the nurse or any others to let them know that one patient is go out of that the hospital as long as we cannot find it. And then we start to see to find out where the patient is. This is our first case in the Taipei Brentron General Hospitals. And also second one is also in the hospital. So for this cases, it's also using our basics. So the basic is the one-on-one -on -one facial recognition identification. So this uh, solution will solve their pinpoint First of all, the pinpoint is that the last of that the doctor and the nurse were using other the person's identification card to puncture their card to make sure they already check in or check out. But we wanted to avoid this situation. So we're using the facial recognition to make sure the one the patient or one the doctor or nurse to using the right identification card when they attend the hospitals. And one another is that uh, we have provide the contactless the solution. So the T, uh, doctor and the nurse checking without touching anything, we can report their attendance record. The next one is our enterprise level customers, with strong ITS. They're using our facing for premiums. The premium is that they have the multiple and the single solutions to implement their whole areas. So you can see the screen in the right side, they have the main stream, there's the main gate, the most of the employees that go into their office during the morning time. So they don't need to stop by to punch the car to clock in. So they just go through the door and then our system will to identify who the employees, and then we, in the same time, we will recall when they arrive as the attendant systems. In the meantime, we also integrate the access control systems. So when we know about the, what the employees, the door, the door will be open. And you can also see the, uh, the middle in the bottom. So this is for the one-on-one. -on -one. So they have another the three side door in this, in this uh, uh, area. So the person can use the stop in front of the, the identification devices. And then we can recognize who they are and also can open the door that the employee go in. There's one more thing is about the attendance because they have the general hours to office hours, so they're using the facial recognition to go into the office. However, if they have the night time, they can, we can provide a facial recognition plus using the SS control card to make sure the right person using the right car, and then this the permission is right, and then the door will be open. This is our the third case about the face info premium. And next one is of the factory in the middle of Taiwan. And this uh, talk about uh, how to we use the facial recognition to solve their attendance issue. Because that they have uh, many of the employee out there. So I think it's uh, 10,000 of the employee in this uh, companies. So it's very critical when the time 
is the time off. So lots of people will go out to check clock off. So when this is a situation, most of the employee will wait in the queue to clock out and they go, to, go out to the factory. But when we input, uh, implement this solution, they don't need to stop in front of that the main gate. They just go through the gate and then we can identify who they was. So it's easy to then, then quickly to go to the office or go clock out to the office. And this is our last one. So this is for the face info bags with the thermal images. Due to the COVID-19, so most uh, employee and any others are afraid about someone who have a fevers. So we integrate the thermal camera to identify, to detect the person who have a fevers. So in this moment, we can prevent this the situation. The person don't need to uh, go in front of them to using the thermal gun to detect each one of that the person. Because when we want to arrange the person during that the COVID-19, they had a very critical time because when they want to do this, say we have to send a multiple guy to where the people come in and then using a the thermal gun to detect. But using our solution, we don't need to send any one other the employee. We just in using our solution and can you set up your main entry or any other uh, place you want to identify the person and also want to know their body temperatures. So in the moment, so we system can to integrate their attendance systems and also to identify who they are, also record their body temperature to make sure everyone have a healthy and to go into their office. These are our the last one cases I would like to share to you. And also this one, we want to uh, deeply to let you know what the face info basics and what the procedures. As I mentioned about that, uh, we have a successful case is uh, the web link, like using our the base series. So they integrate the thermal image. So allow our system to identify their body temperature and also the using the facial recognition to know about who is the employee or the visitors. So in our solution, we provide the API for the SI to they can integrate their current systems, such as attendance systems, access control, or even more. And we also build in the digital signage inside. And then I will show you the in the last page. And we provide the up to the 10,000 or employee, the solutions. So if you have the uh, 9,000 or 10,000, our solution is totally the work for you guys. And also to support the multiple entries because the enterprise level, they have a main entry, sign entry, and they also have a lots of security area they want to control. So we provide a multiple device to uh, make sure all that area is secure to, and also safe. And also you can see on the screen, we have a provide optional thermal images. So if you want to know your employee healthy or not, you can uh, select the optional thermal image camera. But otherwise you want to without a camera such as like a, a financial room or inventory room or any other room without the temperature control. So you can choose the face info basic so without temperature, that's the that's the uh, that last one. And uh, you, if you want to have uh, the body temperature, you can choose the, the right one, basic info, basic info, basic WT. And also you can see on the screen that I mentioned earlier, so you can see we can use it, our facial recognition to identify who is an employee, who is a guest. And at the same time, we can provide the body temperatures. So if they have a fevers, so we will stop there in front of our, our the screen and also our door won't be open. 
And also you can see in the bottom of that area, we have e pollutant, just like I mentioned about is that the digital signage. So using our list solution, we also to allow them to push their the enterprise the messages. It's easy to let everyone employee to know what gonna happen in during the like event or any other they want to, to uh, publish it to all that employee to know what the event currently. So I think it's very useful to to using the digital signage because uh, we wanted to provide the paperless and also using this the dig digital signage to propose this the, all kind of that the information to publish publish in the air. And that's, this page is about the infrastructure. So it's easy. You can see in the main entry or also have a sign entry. They can use the different solution. The, the left side is have the temperatures and the right side in under the sign entry they don't have provide the temperatures. So using our the connect UX, the servers to implement their enterprise networking so they can directly to use to control our device and then start to raker, to start the raker. And also we can provide the API. So you can see if they have an API, so we can integrate the access control and also can attendance assistant. Even we also can integrate the current HR assistance. So this is a very benefit for the HR because when the new solution come in, so always a question about why need the new solution when they implement, so they have a double their effort, even triples. But in our solution, we in using the in API integration. So the HR the uh, person, they just only do the one time and data collect, we were using our API to tell it together. So no double efforts. And the last, this one is the facing for pro theory. So in the earlier successful story, you can see that they have also using our solution to let the employee clock in and clock out during the office hours. So this main idea is we don't want to employee to wait in the queue to, to go to the office and go out of office because it is take a lot of time to wait in and somebody to check in. And in this solution, just as I mentioned earlier, is have the facial recognition, attendance system, also access control to, to control all the area you want to, to monitor this. We also can integrate the notification app, such as in Taiwan, we public app is the line. So we can use a line to notify everyone when they clock in, when they clock out. And this one also the support up to the 10,000 employee and also have a multiple entrance. For the infrastructure it's easy, same as the best series. You can see if you have a bottleneck, like for example, you have the one door, but during the, the, the office, office rush hours. So you maybe have a five, six uh, the employee in uh, clocking in the same time. So you can imagine that the person you have to wait in the line until the queue is gone. But you can imagine if we implement our solution, they don't need to wait in, in front of the gate. They just go through the gate so we can clock in their time also to identify if we, they have an employee or the visitors. The same here in the server. So if we're using our the pro theory, we also can provide the API. So integrate the access control, attendance and HR, etc. In here is our backend system. So you can see that we provide the simple the attendance log. So each log, we can show you that the, the employee, which door they go in, does it have a permission to go in or not? Even though we have the temperature record to make sure 
is healthy is okay. And all that the record will also provide the images. So we will capture the pictures during their clock-in. So we wanted to make sure it's the right person we identify and the right time we let them go in. And then this is the one, the technology is a very new, multiple OS structures. So we're using the mobile structures to, to, to let the customer to know about how can use our device using multiple to, to for example, you can see the if us, uh, these uh, structures in the, in the hybrid versions. So you can see we can use in the windows using our AVCP algorithm to do the identifications. We also can use our the uh, Connect US server to build in the Linux OS in the second versions. And in our applications, we also can use the Android OS to identify who they are, such as the apps. So in this one, you can imagine that using the one devices can set up uh, to spread that multiple uh, use for the operation system. It means that the cost the customer can redone, reduce their the implement cost, even the hardware cost and the software cost. So I think that is easy to maintain. The customer can maintain the one devices that which you can get a three uh, multiple OS and the benefits. So I think this is a very good technology we can provide. And the next one is the ABCC facial recognition algorithm. I would like to invite Ellen Wang to discuss this more. Uh, welcome to Ellen. Hello, everyone. I'm Ellen. I'm the RD team leader from AOPEN Smart Vision. And in this session, I would like to introduce the, our new AI software product. It's called AVCP. So what is AVCP? AVCP is a facial recognition algorithm software. Uh, AVCP also includes many AI models like the below showing, like the face detection, age, gender detection, and sentimental detection. And for the, uh, for the COVID-19 currently, we also support the mask, mask detection. And for the security issue, we also support the face force detection. And in the single face recognition speed, we can up to the, the time can up to the 200 milliseconds to do the, the facial recognition. And every ship has, has many key features. I will briefing those key features in later slides. High reliability. Every CP is 100% made by Taiwan AI experts. All the technology and the other team member is come from as a group. So uh, you can totally trust this pro uh, product. And next, high accuracy. Uh, every CP get very high facial recognition accuracy rate uh, in many international benchmark organizations like the Megaface and the LFW. And in recently, we also uh, applying the certification to the NIST benchmark organizations. Once we got the certification, we will announce the, the uh, we will announce it again. And the performance, uh, FACB can run, running on the local device or the edge device. So if the performance is your concern, you can upgrade the hardware spec like the uh, add the some VPU, GPU to speed up the performance. Uh, next is the AI integration. We can see this uh, page. Uh, as the programmer, uh, you just, how, how to integrate with the AVCP, you just uh, can send the face photo to the AVCP Every CP will immediately send the identified result to you. The result will include a face ID, age, gender, or emotion. 
and uh, special, especially the for the mass detection or for phase detection result in the response. And uh, cause the every CP integration is through the web socket, so we can support many uh, programming language like the Java, Python, or Node.js, or C or C sharp. And next is the data security. Uh, during the FHCP running or integration or you are developing, the first DB is just keep in the local device. The first DB first data will not uh, upload to the cloud. So you can, uh, you will not have any risk for the data to be, uh, first data to be hacked. So the, the every ship is long uh, is very secu uh, secure in the uh, local device. And next is the facial information I just mentioned before, include uh, AI many AI model like the face, ID or age or gender or emotion. And next one is the video analytics. Uh, uh, in additional to the AVCP, we in addition for the photos, AVCP also offer the video analysis solutions. Uh, you can send the video to the AVCP, then AVCP will analysis each frame for the facial recognition. Next one is cross platform. Uh, AVCP can run in multi, multiple OS. In Windows, uh, your system requirement must be uh, require the left side the, the table list, like the processor must be the Intel uh, generation, Intel series CPU or Zenon CPU. And uh, we in Windows, we focus on the Win 10 always. Uh, in the right side, if you have the cost issue, we also provide many lightweight models, many lightweight solutions like the NVIDIA platform, Google platform, or Raspberry Pi platform. How to start with the AVCP? We offer the free trial download. We, you can start the 30 days trial for free. Through below URL, you can apply in the trial version. We will after the uh, applying, we will send you the download link. And especially in the trial version, we also provide the sample code. You can, you can uh, test it, the sample code for how to integrate with the AVCP. And next two pages is the, our technical specification. Uh, almost the features I just mentioned, I just want to highlight the, in the right side, the system performance. Every CPU can run in, in the two inference mode, CPU mode or VPU uh, mode. If your CPU is, the performance is better than VPU, you can choose for running on the CPU mode. So, so you can depend on your hardware performance. And next page, we, we, I just mentioned that uh, the face size uh, we, we recommended face size is greater than the 150 pistols. And the first enrollment, the limit, limited value is one image is, is okay, but five image is, is more better. If the acquaintance rate is have some issue, we suggest to uh, enroll uh, four to five image into the AVCP. Okay, this is the, the AVCP introduced. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the Alan to the, introduce our AVCP. I think the AVC is a very important to made by Taiwan team. So for the data security, so that the uh, captain to comfortable to, to implement their area, uh, such as their your systems or the, in the networking. So, so the next part is that uh, DFI, the new system introduction, I would like to hand over to the art 
to to discuss and introduce you. But if we uh, have any info, any question about the phase info or the AVCP, please you can contact our directory and we also we support support him. So I will hand over to the art. Okay, thanks. Ivan and Aaron sharing. And as we have software solution and also need hardware to be total solution, so let me introduce define new system products. Uh, I would like to introduce two new models, uh, EC511CS and ES220CS, that would suitable for AI solution. Both models can support Intel Configure Platform 8 and 9 general purpose general generation processor. EC511CS is balanced design, support for PoE and one PCI by 16 uh, for extending car. Uh, yes, 220CS support desktop processor and smartphone and smartphone filter design. Okay, and uh, here are some hardware specification highlights. The highest speed will be support nine generation eight core processor. Run up to 64 gigabyte and support for for PoE and each one support 50 watt and to connect the camera. And also have three independent video output. One is video and the other two is DP HDMI combo port. And this combo port means uh, uh, one port can connect DP or HDMI. And a user can connect the DP or HDMI in this port and system will auto detect the output signal from DP or HDMI. Yeah. And when EC511CS combine the Movidius accelerator car, it will become a brand new AI accelerator and high performance AIoT edge computer. And PC featuring the Intel Movidius Marine XVPU, optimizer of for uh, deep neural network in inference and most advanced VPU from Intel. Oh, here is the target market for this model. And machine inspection for factory automation, and intelligent license plan recognition and, and public space based recognition. Okay. And ES220CS is uh, uh, the compact size edge computer. Uh, same the high is spec will be support nine generation and eight core processor and run up to 64 gigabyte. The model delivery deliver high performance and face responsibility to empower real-time intelligence. It's a data center and the edge for wide range for AI based vertical application. And yes, 220CS is, is a small phone filter system uh, with Intel OpenVINO that enable AI application deployment and the user can prototype and deploy their own deep neural network algorithm. Okay, and here is the target for ES220CS and uh, IoT-based 
first quality measurement system and intelligent license plan recognition in parking algorithm or parking lot. And, and a fixed recognition for missions or customer identification. Okay, uh, this is all the presentation of today's webinar. And beside the two new models, the vertical market light uh, gaming medical in vehicle solution, DFI all have product offering. If you want to get more information about other products, please contact your sales. And thank you for listening. So, and Q&A. <laughs> Okay, and okay, see, okay, see you. Bye bye. Okay, see you everyone. To the well, uh, the the I I would I think uh, it's a wonderful webinar. So keep chat, everyone. Okay, bye.